Let's look at titration. So I'm using example 3 from the textbook, page 187. And it reads as follows. In a titration, 15 cubic centimeters of sulfuric acid is neutralized by 20 cubic centimeters of potassium hydroxide solution. Word concentration 0.3 moles per cubic decimeter. Calculate the concentration of the acid. So this is example 3. And for the acid, it looks as follows. We have the volume as 15 cubic centimeters. But remember now, we're working with concentrations, so the volume will have to be cubic decimeters. Uh, so we are uh, just changing this into cubic decimeters by dividing by a thousand and that will give you 0 0.015 cubic decimeters. Now for the base they told us that the volume of the base is 20 cubic centimeters. Again we are changing that into cubic decimeters 0 0.02 cubic decimeters. So we've got the volume for both. They gave us the concentration of the base as well. And that was 0 0.3 mole per cubic decimeter. Calculate the concentration of the acid. In order to do this, we have to understand the actual neutralization, the action of um, what happens here. Okay, so we have sulfuric acid. and potassium hydroxide. And it's being neutralized by forming water and a salt. Okay? So it would be the salt would be potassium sulfate. And again sulfate is two negative potassium is one plus so we're gonna need two of those. So it will be K2SO4 and water. Okay, and water is a liquid, and the salt is still in solution currently, but eventually it will form a sol uh, solid, right? Um, let's do the neutralize uh, to do the balancing now. So you've got two potassium there, one here, so immediately now this will have to become a two. Now let's test the rest. Uh, here you've got two hydrogens, two hydrogens, which becomes four hydrogens. Um, in other words, we need four hydrogens on this side. So that water will become a two. Okay, so hydrogen is sorted out. Let's look at the oxygen. So you've got four oxygen, plus two is six oxygen. Over here you've got four plus 2 is 6, it's sorted out, 1 sulfur, 1 sulfur, 2 potassium, 2 potassium. So this reaction is now balanced. So if we think of titration, and we write down the amount of moles for an acid divided by the amount of moles for a base, we can use the concentration equation and we know the amount of concentration is moles divided by, divided by volume. So moles is concentration times volume. So the concentration of the acid, volume of the acid, concentration of the base, volume of the base. These moles, A over B, this is a ratio. So this doesn't have to be the specific, the exact um, numbers because you know, it will always form the ratio it will always follow the ratio okay so the amount of moles in the ratio for for the acid will be one two two of the base so over here we can substitute by saying one divided by two we want to calculate you know, the actual question asks us to calculate the concentration of the acid so c of the acid is the unknown the volume of the acid, we've calculated it 
0.015. The concentration of the base was given as 0.3 and then the volume of the base we calculated that as 0.02. Now we just need to write it, rewrite it and then calculate. So in the rewriting it will look like this. We'll have on the left hand side 0.3 times 0.02 divided by 2 and 0.015 and all of the this is equal to the concentration of the acid and when you do the calculation you'll get 0 0.2 0 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter and that is the concentration of the acid and that's the essence of titration trying to calculate the concentration of an unknown acid uh, of meaning of a known acid you know what the acid is but you don't know its concentration and this is how to calculate it by using a standard solution and doing a neutralization reaction let's move on to the next example and this is example four and let's read through example four it's a nice quick and short question but not necessarily that quick in calculation it says the following calculate the mass of magnesium oxide mgo needed to neutralize 40 milliliters of 0 0.25 moles per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid solution okay so we've got hydrochloric acid reacting with magnesium oxide and it being neutralized therefore it will form a salt and water so in explaining this i would first like to write down hydrochloric acid magnesium oxide magnesium chloride which is aqueous and water which is a liquid Okay, let's balance this, this equation. Uh, you've got one hydrogen, two hydrogens. So automatically, you know, this will have to become a two. Now we test again. Two hydrogens sorted out. Two chlorides, two chlorides. Remember, chloride is negative one. Magnesium is two plus. That's why you need two. That's why I knew how to write it down. Um, and then one magnesium, one magnesium, one oxygen, one oxygen. It is balanced. Okay, so you have the acid, which we know its volume was given as 40 milliliters, which is the same as cubic centimeters. In other words, this is 0 0.04 cubic decimeters. So that's the volume of the acid. We also know the concentration of this acid. It was 0 0.25 mole per cubic decimeter. So that's the information given about the acid, and they want to know the mass needed. So let's look, we're not this is not a titration calculation, this is a neutralization though, um, calculation. So but it's going to follow the same principles. We need to ask ourselves, what do we have and what do we need? We want to get the amount of mass. Right? We can calculate the molecular mass so that we can actually calculate the amount of moles needed. Right? So from mass or from moles we can go to mass. Over here we have the molar ratio. Two moles of hydrochloric acid will react with one mole of magnesium oxide. Can we get the amount of moles for hydrochloric acid? Let's see. We've got concentration and volume. So that means by using the uh, concentration equation, we can get the amount of moles for hydrochloric acid. Divide that by 2, 
which will give us the amount of moles for um, magnesium oxide. Then use the molecular mass to calculate the amount of mass. So that's our strategy. It's almost like getting onto a train, at the train station, getting onto the train, and then getting off at a different platform. So this is basically what we're going to do. So let's start with our concentration uh, equation. So we know C equals N over V, therefore moles equals concentration times volume, and this is now for the acid. So our concentration was 0 0.25, our volume was 0 0.04. So if we do the calculation, it will be 0 0.01 mole of hydrochloric acid. Now, uh, we can say by, um, by using a ratio, you say, therefore, um, for each um, mole of magnesium oxide, each mole of magnesium oxide will react with two moles of hydrochloric acid. Then you can say, therefore, 0 0.005 moles of magnesium oxide is needed. How did we get that? We took the 0 0.01, divided it by 2 to get to this value. Now the only step needed is we need to convert this into mass because that's what the question stated. Okay, so that means we will need the molecular mass of magnesium oxide. And uh, we can use a periodic table to determine that. So it would be magnesium is 24.3, and oxygen is 16, and that will give us uh, 40.3 grams per mole. Okay, now uh, we know that mass is equal to moles times molecular mass and this will be 0 0.005 times 40.3 if we do our calculation we will get 0 0.215 gram of magnesium oxide. And that is our final answer.